We are in Scotland. This happened earlier in January. Pro 14 action. Take a look at the clock right there. Okay, so Edinburgh is going to get the ball. They're going to give it back to Nick Groom, and he's not sure what to do with it, and eventually he's just going to kick it out. And that is going to prove costly. If you look at the time, there's 40 seconds left on the clock. Now, eventually it was um, shown that a train was passing through. And Nick Groom is from South Africa. And I did a little bit of investigating in the Reddit Rugby Union forum. And it says that in Southern Hemisphere uh, countries, they use a hooter. In Northern Hemisphere countries, they don't. That's not 100% true, because uh, take a listen to this clip from the top 14 in France. Yeah, obviously that was a lot longer, but that can be confusing, especially when you don't have uh, spectators in the stands. Um, there's a lot of ambient noise. You hear those train sounds a lot more easily than you would if there was a crowd making noise uh, during this game. Um, and so what do you guys think? I want to know if there are hooters in <laughs> hooters, if there are, you know, buzzing uh, horn sounds to indicate uh, halftime or the end of the game in certain countries. Uh, we heard it in France, but I don't think it, they have it in Pro 14 or in most of Europe. But uh, what do you guys think about this? And let me know in the comments, and I'll see you guys later.